This is The Motorbike Show. Welcome to the NEC and welcome to Motorcycle Live. I'm at the biggest bike show of the year at the NEC in Birmingham. The perfect day out for any self-respecting biker. It's a great opportunity for me to check out what's hot and what's not in the biking scene. A wonderful thing about bike shows is as you wander around you can come across some seriously cool innovations. You can buy anything here, do anything here. But what I really want to do is find out how British manufacturers are dealing with the market at the moment. How about this for a start? British brand CCM, who until now have been renowned for supermotos and supplying bikes to the military. They're going head to head with the likes of KTM and BMW with this little baby, a dual sport dazzler. The CCM Adventure GP450 is the newest addition to the dual sport market. With its unique chassis construction, making for a stiff yet light frame, she's supposedly the perfect balance of power and stability, both on and off road. Either way, it's a bullish move to get involved with the highly competitive dual sport market. I had a chat with the lovely Alice from CCM. Alice, now tell me about the CCM here. Now, you're entering the market with this. Now, is it a 450? It's a 450, yeah, it's a 450cc. You can get your big Victoria, but they're so heavy. With this one, it's 135 kilograms, so okay, extremely so it's light. light. And if you ever feel the need to circumnavigate the globe, it comes complete with its own travel cot. Is this the main thrust for you? Yeah, massively. I mean, this is our focus for, for the next couple of years, the GP450. Um, We've been away, we've been doing some military stuff, and yeah, we're back. Well, I have to tell you, you're back with a bang, and for me, what's so exciting is CCM are British. Other British manufacturers also seem to be hanging on in there. Matisse are still selling their glorious off-roaders, whilst Norton have launched this beautiful limited edition Dommy Racer. So hopefully Norton boss Stuart Garner sees some reasons to be excited. The motorcycle business, mate, are you seeing an upturn slightly now or not? In the UK, where we've been trading a few years now, we're starting to see a little bit more of maybe, dare we say it, some green shoots and some businesses coming back and guys are coming back buying more bikes. Another thing we're doing is trying to get some of the kids back into bikes. And of course, as you do that, granddad and dad comes and kind of you just get that whole family spirit sure, and sure. feel into the business. Blasting about on your little bike with your little son. It's an amazing experience. So kind of, we're going through that now and, and trying to open the doors up at Norton to get just a, a kind of a, a wider audience in, into bikes. Does that mean you might be doing a lesser CC one in the future or not? Mate, we get the continual, when's the 500 single going? And we say, when Henry comes to put his money down for a 500 single, <laughs> we'll build it. <laughs> My passion is the British motorcycle industry and hopefully we're seeing signs of revival as we're heading out of recession. What I love about these shows is that if you search hard enough, you'll find the small companies offering some wonderful gizmos and best of all, they're British. This is the new breed of airbag technology. You're still likely to lose both arms, but at least you'll be able to live to tell the tale. And check out this little number that's less roadmap, more Robocop. Well, what we've got in here is a monocle, and it's, it's giving you all the critical information that you normally need in a bike. So it means that you can look ahead where you're going without ever having to look down. But as well as the airbag and the HUD, I found another British innovation that I absolutely love. Now, there are many things in motorcycling that I haven't mastered, but one of which is tying a bike down in the back of a van or on a pickup. Me and ratchet straps just don't get on. But now, help is at hand. This is called a bump stop, OK? So you can have it in the back of your van, in your house or garage, or on your pickup, right? So if you imagine that is a motorcycle front wheel, right? OK? So you wheel it in and it goes into this cradle here, like that, right? And then it flicks over, bingo. 
I've used these and you don't actually have to use ratchet straps at all. It's only 100 quid. Happy days.